Israeli emergency services say at least one person died and 33 were injured after being hit by a truck at a bus stop north of Tel Aviv. Police say a bus was stopping to drop off passengers at the same time the truck collided with the bus and passengers at the station. Israel's police have not determined whether the truck veered into the crowd deliberately or by accident, but said in a statement that they were investigating the event as a suspected terrorist attack. Civilians at the scene fatally shot the driver, an Arab citizen of Israel. The victims, some of whom were trapped under the truck, were taken to four area hospitals. Earlier on Sunday, Israeli strikes on northern Gaza killed at least 33 people, mostly women and children, as Israel's offensive in the hard-hit and isolated area entered a third week. Israel said it was targeting militants. Also on Sunday, two Israeli strikes killed eight people and injured 25 in Sidon City in southern Lebanon. One strike hit a residential building. The city's population has ballooned in recent weeks as people have fled there from other parts of the country because of Israel's invasion. Egypt's president announced on Sunday that his country has proposed a two-day ceasefire between Israel and Hamas, during which four hostages held in Gaza would be freed. While speaking in Cairo, President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi said the proposal also includes the release of some Palestinian prisoners and the delivery of humanitarian aid to the Gaza Strip. Egypt has been a key mediator along with Qatar and the U.S. This is the first time Egypt's president has publicly proposed such a plan. There was no immediate response from Israel or Hamas. El-Sisi said the proposal aims to move the situation forward, adding that once the two-day ceasefire goes into effect, Negotiations would continue to make it permanent. Afia Ba, City News.